Hello guys and welcome back to a brand new Backstage Business. We're here in the XL for day two of the business show. Two keynotes today and two interviews. Busy, busy day. Let's go. But there's a, there's a magic in making a start. When you make a start and you get out there and you start doing things, you can take that and you can learn from that um, and, 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 and good things start to happen. I made a start, a lot of other people that have made a start, they learn quickly. I did learn on the job, um, you know, and luckily I surrounded myself by not one mentor, loads of mentors, loads of other business owners that I asked for their advice. I read books, uh, I read newspapers and the business articles, I mean, you take all those things and I implemented and that, that's a big difference. Well, I started off as a kids entertainer uh, and I was in a business where I was swapping time for money. And what I wanted to do was try and build a business where I wasn't swapping time for money. I was always sort of panicked as a, as a business owner, an SME business owner. Going, oh, what? You know, I'm earning all my money using my hands. What happens if I get ill? Uh, and so I, I wanted to build a business that could work without me in it into the future. And that's when I started building our own entertainment venues. Uh, so that it wasn't me swapping time for money uh, and that's gone on to grow and grow uh, and then we wanted to build day nursery so that we had regular income into our business and it fitted it was a nice marriage it folded into our existing portfolio of businesses and we've just kept on building it and building it and we grow each year we're very passionate about what we do so I, I couldn't wait to invert a team together uh, and that's very different to lots of uh, business owners. They don't want to employ a team. Um, not everyone, uh, but most people are like, scared of employment, scared of uh, the cost of employment. Oh, I don't know if they're scared of someone being better than them or, or you know, a cocktail of things. Uh, but I, I couldn't wait to get management in place. And, you know, and I think I, I owe a massive uh, debt to Richard Branson. I read, you know, one of the first business books I read was Losing My Virginity by Richard Branson. And, and that's the thing that I took away from that book, that Richard always invested into great people to run his businesses so that he could go and build them. And I've, you know, taken that from Richard when I was 16, read Losing My Virginity, and I've been, you know, following that mantra ever since. So. If you're a business owner, uh, one of the things that, that you need to do is understand that the more you learn, the more you earn. Uh, and if you invest time into learning, the right learning, you can take that and invest that into your business. Luckily with YouTube, with Instagram, with getting hold of books and videos, uh, it's really easy to learn some good stuff from people that have already done it. What you want to learn is from people that have been there and done it, they're experienced, not theory-based people, people that have done it. Uh, there's lots of people that share good theory, but they're not experienced. It's very easy to share a good theory if you haven't actually put it to practice. So learn from people that have done it. So guys, we're wrapping up another Backstage Business. Hey, I've been here in London at the XL. It's closing now, packing away. People are packing away each other's. Get it on shot. Look, they're finishing off. They're finishing off. It's been a busy day for me. Four keynotes, two interviews, back to Mac, back to Mac. Uh, and then in between doing the emails, doing all the normal stuff. I think it's really important to do all this stuff and build your brand and build your profile uh, so that you can open doors. And I, I want to open the doors for our members of the Entrepreneurs Network. You know, I've got this big sort of champion thing that I'm on. If I can get my subscribers on my profile, up, I can knock on the door of government and say, look, help business owners, we can do some great things if you help us, and I think that's a, that's a long-term plan for me, Chudlington. Let's get government behind business. I want to be doing that, and I want to be the voice for business owners and see if we can get some good stuff done. Hope you enjoyed this busy backstage business, seeing all the interviews. We'll be back tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Hey gang, thanks for watching the video. Now, if you want to increase your business and entrepreneurial learning, why don't you get your hands on one of my free fabulous magazines packed full of more business advice. All you've got to go to is www.free-magazine.co.uk and I'll send it in the post to you for absolutely free. See ya!